best place to start with jokes are probably your location, where you're from. And so I'm going to be making fun of Bloomington a little bit. Um, if you're a local, please don't want to take offense. I promise you at the end of the speech, I will do something that will bring us all together. I'm going to make fun of Florida. So hang on for that. Sorry, Anita. I know, I know that's not going to work for all that. Um, to start, too, I'll throw a little bit of my own skin in the game. Uh, I'm from New Jersey. I don't normally make New Jersey jokes. <laughs> I find they're ubiquitous, uh, just like kind of blonde jokes. They're everywhere. I spent two weeks in Vietnam once building a school, and our English translator, when he found out I was from New Jersey, was like, oh, nuclear waste and garbage dumps. I was like, how do you know that? <laughs> and he looked at me, and he said these two words that I'll never forget, Jay Leno. <laughs> and I thought, oh. So in the spirit of Jay Leno, I'm going to tell a New Jersey joke in a late, late, late night fashion. Uh, so uh, Franklin, New Jersey, have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? This guy in Franklin, New Jersey, two weeks ago, uh, was caught throwing diapers, used diapers, out his window. He had been doing it for weeks on end. <laughs> the, the, the Franklin police were looking for him. Yeah, apparently, uh, they realized that there was a problem when they woke up one morning and they found their Jersey town smelt a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I got my way, but late night, I think I can get me there. Uh, I've been in Wilmington for about three or four years now. Uh, I haven't said I've really started living here yet, but I've made some cursory observations. Uh, this is a very fit town. A lot of people like to stay in shape here. But for strangely enough, it's not very walkable. Uh, they must, whatever the city council is handling it, the ordinances must be going block by block to set up sidewalks. Uh, like, well, let's set up an ordinance. Uh, we're going to plan on building sidewalks in front of Steve's house this week. What do you guys think? <laughs> Yay, nay, nay? Okay, but not, not this week. I, I plan on writing a book of poems someday that will be uh, where the sidewalk begins and ends. It's in North Carolina in the end. <laughs> uh, parking, too, is quite interesting North Carolina. It's something I'm getting used to. I bought a house probably a few months ago, and I had a, like a bunch of my friends over, and they brought their friends. And I thought I bought a house with a nice front lawn, but no, I bought extra parking. I did not realize <laughs> that here in North Carolina, you see a patch of grass, it's like, nope, that's a parking spot. <laughs> Hewitt Cray especially, the parking in Hewitt Cray could be just kind of considered, <laughs> do you, you just, you do you. <laughs> this is my uh, killing uh, uh, speech about uh, uh, parking and uh, 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 sidewalks, and I gotta tell you, the one part of Wilmington that I really do love more than anything is the Dead Crow Comedy Room uh, out in downtown. It's probably the most New York thing I've ever found out here. It's, it's like a basement, it's got this beautiful brick lining to it, and it is tough. And it reminds me of Toastmasters a lot too, because just the uh, the ritual of it, the standing up, you go up, you shake hands with the with the, the DJ, as it, as it were, instead of it, it's, it's the Toastmaster. Um, what I would compare it to, though, if this is Toastmasters is a trapeze artist where we're almost in those big harnesses, you know, we've got a really nice net, and we've got practice, where stand up comedy is more like trapeze artists, except no net, and people are throwing things at you. <laughs> the pressure cooker situation is amplified by the fact that. Uh, by the evaluation process. You don't just have one evaluator, you have 20 to 30. And they're not waiting five to seven minutes like, until your speech is over to patiently give you your, uh, your evaluation. They're telling you right away. <laughs> they're and they're not giving it to you in like kind of, that was pretty good, but I like your other stuff better. It's more stuff like, you suck, very monosyllabic. The other thing about your evaluators is that they've all been drinking. So that's never good or never easy for, for a set. <coughs> So I did try stand-up comedy, uh, and like I said, it, it was a very difficult position, a situation or a problem. I tried the sidewalk material that I just gave you guys, and I gotta tell you, it works a lot better at 7 o'clock in the morning than it does at 10 o'clock at night when people have been drinking. Uh, I'm pretty good at shrugging off embarrassment, as you might have noticed from this beard. I can let things slide pretty easily, but there's a deep kind of difference when it comes to the embarrassment when it comes to stand-up comedy. When you bomb on stage, it's, it's, it gets to your soul. Like, I remember walking on stage and like, feeling like I was late for my suicide. Like, I was like, I gotta get home and like, kill myself. That was terrible. That was just god awful. Um, but I am trying to make it here in Wilmington. Uh, the storm, I think, brought us all together. It was something that was really kind of united a lot of us. 
And I, I felt that way too, leaving here. Um, I know a lot of you, are, I was saying before how I spent a good amount of my time during the storm watching a lot of the news coverage of what was happening and how it was very unhelpful. It, usually they would cycle through about the same two things over and over again. And I became an expert on just those two things. And our government sits together and they pull this information, this pool this information from all the other hurricanes that they've had. And these hurricanes are storms that uh, have come out of Florida. A lot of, a lot of Florida kind of, kind of uh, uh, issues. Or it's, 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 a, it's a Florida tragedy. And the advice that they would give was cumulative from all the, like, the, the situations that they had in Florida. So I, I was kind of uh, perplexed to find that the only two pieces of advice they could give you was don't drive into a river and don't leave your generator running in your house. But the only two things, and I was like, oh, God bless you, Florida. You were the only state where that kind of, that kind of information could kind of come out of. Uh, like I said, I was going to end this on a Florida joke, and I'll end you with one more. The, uh, recently, the bomber last week, I saw a lot of bombs to Democratic candidates, and I gotta say, thank God he was from Florida, because otherwise someone could have gotten hurt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my <laughs>